Cashers, it's Lookout Lisa from Cash Advance, and it is time for the December 2021 Geo Challenge of the Month. So for this month, we'd like to end the year with a souvenir and reach the peak. Now, Joshua, get to it. I was so excited to see that the next Reach the Peak Souvenir Challenge was Denali in Alaska. This month's Geo Challenge of the Month is to earn that Reach the Peak Souvenir. Hmm. Reach the Peak. I haven't even started geocaching this month. I've been so busy doing other things. Like, geez, I wonder where I am. And that must be a lot of points. Hey, I'll check with uh, the geocaching app uh, profile. And I go to uh, scroll down, reach the peak. And then, uh, oh, there, see? Re what? Zero? What? I There's everybody else. And where am I? Zero? I better get going. It's got a challenge of the month and I've got to get how many points? 6,190? Holy doodle. I better figure out the best way to get that and quick. Let me see. If I find um, letterbox, letterbox is worth 500 points. How will I need a five, 500 and times 10 is 5,000 and then five, six, six, six 12, 12 times 5 is 60, and then some other cash. And if I just find 13 letter boxes, I've got it. Let's go. Boom. Here I am on the trail, and I'm already at 1,950 points. That's right. I went from 0 to 1,950 points just like that because I had gone out and I'd previously found five caches since I was back there in my dining room. So now all I need to get to is 6,150. Normally, this wouldn't be a, a problem for Lyric last night because the way that we usually geocache is we just go out regular and we find caches and then we get the souvenir. But this month, we are especially busy. There's a lot of stuff going on with me with work, family, travel, whatever. And I just hadn't been able to do a lot of geocaching. So this is an unusual situation where I actually have to figure out how to get the souvenir done before the end of the month and within the time that I have. So I figured if I got 13 letterbox caches, I could get it because they're worth 500 points each. But I'm already at 1,950 points. So all I need now is eight letterbox caches. And on this trail right here to Moncton, Ontario, there are eight letterboxes. So if I'm lucky, I can find them all. So let's go get the first one. Off we go. What's with this white stuff? It's like winter or something. Wait a minute, it's the end of December. Yeah, I guess it would be winter. I'm not liking it too much. Well, <laughs> I got my work cut out for me on the first one because it's, uh, it's up there. And I don't have lyric glass here to climb the tree. Hi, yay, yay. Wasn't thinking to climb any trees. Oh, I did it. Whew. One down. We got it. I would have liked to have said that was an easy 500 points, but it wasn't. But now I got 2,450 on the way to the peak. Slowly, I'm climbing. And now, uh, yeah, I'm climbing. <laughs> Another 300 points. Got it. That peak is getting closer. Thirty-four hundred and fifty points. Here I thought I was almost at the top. I still got a ways to go. And uh, I only got a few caches, so I guess just got to keep trying. It's hiding in there pretty good. But not good enough to hide from me. Got another one. Getting closer. This one tried hiding in the leaves in this multi-trunk tree, but didn't get away from me. One little bit higher, 500 more points. We're getting there. 
how did your uh, challenge go? Did you get the challenge of the month done? Did you get to the peak? Hey, let me know in the uh, comments below. So that trail was a bit of a bust. There was only four of the eight that I was able to get. One I rode an out to because the water was too deep. And uh, three, I couldn't find it all. So here I went to Karen's kitchen to regroup, have some lunch. And now I'm going to try some roadsides and see if we can get up to the peak. And this one is worth 450 points because it's a mystery cache. And this one is a challenge cache to find a certain number of letterboxes. And I qualify. So that's 450 points higher to the peak. I level. I level if you're a lot shorter than me. I'll take it. This is a traditional 350 points. That little bit closer to the peak. We're getting there. This is not proving very easy. One of the easiest spots you would think, a hole in a tree, and it's not there. I've uh, seemed to have gone lateral or down a little bit, and I'm not going very high up to the peak very quick. But we're going to get there. It's seen better days, but it's 350 points and one step closer to the peak, and uh, it's a find. But worthy of a maintenance log on this one, because, yeah, it's seen better days. I've had a number of DNFs. I'm starting to feel a little loopy. Yeah, but not on this one. 350 points for this traditional. Just little thing, 350 points. So close. And, boom. This puts me over the top with 450 points for this one because it's a challenge cache for finding 10 caches from the year 2000. That's right, the Y2K challenge, and I qualify. So I finally reached the peak, and I'm standing over it. And I'd like to thank uh, Lookout Lisa and Joshua Johnson for the Geo Challenge of the Month. And that was a real challenge for me to do as i say you know usually it's not a big deal we do our regular geocache and we get whatever the challenge is but that one was a lot of work especially with all the dnfs and i'd also like to thank royal berries for coming along and being the van relocator as as lyric glass says there's more geocaches to find and where, where will geocaching, geocaching take, take you next see ya bye